Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. We've got another video today looking at the VSDC free video editor. In previous videos, we have looked at the basic functions of this free editor. This is an editor that has no watermarks or trial periods or gimmicks about it. It is, it is actually free. So if you want to know how the editor works, you can check out the more detailed videos on my channel. Today's video is going to look at a specific problem that some people have mentioned on my channel about audio. And what some people are saying that's happening is they are working on a project in the editor, they preview it, and they can hear the audio. And then when they go to convert it, the audio disappears or there's nothing but static. So I'm going to run through three possible solutions to this problem. This is not an all-encompassing list. It's three quick things to check for, the third probably being the most likely. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First thing I would check is make sure you have the most latest version. This is the version that I have at the time that I'm uploading the video. By the time you see this, there may be a different version up. The only reason that I say the latest version is, in my experience, the previous versions have been uh, more unstable. I've had specific issues with certain audio files with those previous versions of the editor. When I updated to this version, all of a sudden, those issues disappeared. So that's the first thing I would do. The second thing, if you're having audio problems, make sure that you're using supported formats and codecs. So when you open the editor and you start a new project, you'll get a box that looks like this down here. You can always check to make sure that whatever you are using in the editor is supported. The third and most important consideration, when you start a new project, look down here the frequency of the audio that you're using. Now this can become a problem if you use different audio recorded at a different frequency than what you specify here. And I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Blank project and click on finish. Now again, this is a blank project. There's nothing on here. But for illustrative purposes, I'm going to go to export project. Now look down here. Here it's saying this is the input file. This is the frequency of the audio files that you used in your project. And they're going to be outputted in the same way. But as we know, there are no audio files in this blank project, right? So this is not reading at all your frequency of your audio files. This is merely saying this is what you have said the frequency is. So that means that even though you preview it and you may hear the audio, if you convert it at an incorrect frequency, then you're either going to get garbled static or nothing at all. So you can click on this and you can change that frequency. So if you did set it up at, at the incorrect frequency, you don't need to go back and do the whole project over again, that migrations. Instead, you would just change it. Now, most audio that I've used in my projects is either recorded here or most often at, at 48. So you can always adjust that and see if that fixes it. And if you know the frequency of your audio files that you're using in your project and this isn't matching, you need to fix that. Apply a profile. Okay, then you would go in and convert it like you would any other project. Again, this video was just looking at specific problems. Those are three quick things that you can try. So if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing, comment, share with our community what you're working on, what problems you may run into, what you like about the editor. And if you have questions, I will try to answer them. If I can't find an answer for you, that's the nice thing about our YouTube community is that people can chime in that may have had similar problems and say, oh yeah, I had that problem the other day and this is how I fixed it. So 
it's all about supporting each other and our creative vision and that's what this channel is about so if you like that please again consider subscribing take care guys bye